Man, I get in these stores and I just start having too much fun and I start sweating like a hog up in this piece. Look at this, you can see how badly I'm sweating, guys. I'm not even kidding. I wish it were a little more chilly in here. <laughs> Spirits open, let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are in Youngstown, Ohio, which is 0.7 miles up the road from the one we just filmed in Boardman, Ohio. I can't keep it straight. Is Boardman Youngstown or is Youngstown Boardman? Regardless, here is the Spirit Halloween in which we are going to go in and check it out. And guys, check this out. Just like at the other one, they have the letters on the windows that spell Halloween. Although looking at that, it makes you want to say it like Halalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
the art animatronic this year. And I gotta say, I mean, he is totally awesome looking. It just makes me wonder how many people have actually seen the movies because the movie is sick. <laughs> but he does make an awesome animatronic. Okay, let's go ahead and look at Art the Clown first. In the other store that I saw him in, I think his arm might have been broken or something because he has this horn right here, but it was just kind of hanging down to the side. Wait a minute, DIY use blood for a horror makeover. So he's all white and black and you can actually get blood from here and it's the good stuff is called perma blood and then you splatter it all over him. Apparently that perma blood is pretty dang good. But let's go ahead and get him going here. He goes nuts on that horn. <laughs> I love the hand personally, how it just keeps waving. Very cool. All right, let's move on over here to, wait a minute, what the heck is this guy called again? I can't remember his name. All right, it's the Cremator. I couldn't remember the name because I'm always saying that he reminds me of Andre the Giant from The Princess Bride. The Cremator, I had to look him up. Look at the skull that he's holding. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see this guy in action. This is gonna be the first time I'm seeing him in person in action. Here we go. Step into the shadows. <laughs> Very cool. I think if it was darker out, you would see more of like the lights and the flames extending up to his face there, or his lack there of a face. And I don't think he's supposed to move. I think he just stands there and says his phrases and then has the uh, the fire going. I don't think he moves at all, but he is super creepy. Very cool. I love the flames. I would be willing to bet that when they came up with the idea for him, they were sitting around a table and they were like, what kind of animatronic could we make? And somebody was like, wait a minute, I was watching The Princess Bride last night and this thing was freaky. And the cremator was born. Okay, let's come on over here, guys. I love just stepping back and looking at the whole setup. It looks so absolutely awesome all through the middle of the store. Let's go on over here. We're gonna check out the giant death ray as usual. We're gonna check out this guy, old Mackie, Max Straw. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> in the last store i don't think his head was turning if i remember correctly but he was laughing and i love the sound of that crow we had one final crow caught at the in the end like you think he's done and he goes Arr! all right moving on to the giant death ray let's just stand back for a minute and look just how giant he actually is he is huge and i still want to see somebody dress him up like Slender Man. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead over here and get him going. See his lights going on. Here we go. Look at this. I bet when the store closes, they turn out all the lights and then get all these animatronics going and they probably look so absolutely awesome. All right, let's come on over here and visit the scary sitting scarecrow. And we're gonna give him some stickers here. Let's get him going. Say thank you, sir. <laughs> I guess that's how a scary sitting scarecrow says thank you. You're welcome. You know what, guys, before we go anywhere else, let's just take a quick walk through this area here and see if they have, wait a minute. Look at this, Bride of Chucky. I don't think I've seen this one before. Look at this, it's Chucky proposing to Tiffany, that is cool. All right, like I was saying, let's go ahead and go through here real quick and just see, look at this. They have a Scooby-Doo Monopoly. Oh my gosh, that 
is awesome. They have the Spirit Monopoly. They actually have two of them. I'm very tempted to get this Scooby-Doo Monopoly right now. They have a bunch of these, which are totally cool. They are made to look like original VHS clamshell cases. You don't actually get a movie in there, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Man, I love VHS tapes. I used to collect them before I moved into my RV full time and I got rid of all of them. Now I don't live in it anymore and I miss them. So we got Beetlejuice. We got Child's 2 Play. Look at this. We have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. We have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. We have Trick or Treat with Sam right on the front there. And then we have Halloween 2, The Nightmare isn't over and seeing this makes me wonder if they actually have that ceramic pumpkin skull in stock we're gonna find out oh my gosh look at this guys they have wednesday ouija what the heck personally i would never ever 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 touch a ouija board because i don't want that evil in my house but that is pretty cool they also have a beetlejuice mystifying oracle ouija board look at this they have all the tiny guys here except for michael myers i don't know if they're gonna put out michael myers maybe they're saving that for last year i mean next year duh <laughs> i am such a nerd i crack myself up we got pennywise we got sam we got Leonard face and ghost face oh my gosh i'm a dork i'm sweating like a hog up in this piece let's come over here for a minute because i want to see if they have any of those tumblers that everybody is going crazy for they might be out in the store somewhere else in fact i do see some over there we're going to check those out in a second i was actually able to get the scream one for my daughter in one of these stores. I think it was Mansfield, actually. They hadn't brought them out yet. They had just arrived, but I asked at the perfect time. Let's leave some stickers for the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, and the secret keeping cat. And let's come on over here and check these out. Are there any that we haven't seen? Yes, there are. Holy crap. Look at this one right here, guys. I think I showed this in the Mansfield video and I left it there and I kind of regretted it. The Mars Attacks Alien Tumbler. How cool is that thing? Look at this, it's a Silence of the Lambs Tumbler. It doesn't say Silence of the Lambs, but that is the Silence of the Lambs moth right there. We got a Stitch Tumbler over here. That's actually pretty cool, but not my favorite. And then, have we seen this one? Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington with zero on the back. I like that shade of purple too. But the Wednesday mug in purple is more awesome. I love this purple right here. All right, let's make our way through the store here. Are there any blankets in this store that I haven't seen yet. Mm, maybe the Twilight Zone. You guys remember me pointing this one out before? Um, Silence of the Lambs. I don't know if I've seen that one. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this one. Ghostface, call me. Look at this. Amongst all these gigantic slippers here, they have the tiny, tiny little bluey slippers. <laughs> I think I've seen all of these blankets here as well. Wait a minute. Here's a plush that I don't think I've seen. Halloween Town, Jack Skellington, Pumpkin, Scarecrow. You gotta love the Welcome to Halloween doormat too. Halloween Town, Welcome to Halloween Town. As I was saying that, I was looking up at this one, and this one is Halloween. Welcome, we've been expecting you. And this is very peculiar. Usually every single thing you see that is branded Halloween is Halloween 2. I think this is the only thing that I've seen, except for maybe the mask, that is branded Halloween, the original 1978 Halloween. Man, I get in these stores and I just start having too much fun and I start sweating like a hog up in this piece. Is that the second time I've said that in this store? Because I am hot and I am sweating like a hog up in this piece. Not the hook head hog. Although if I had a hook in my head, I would definitely still be sweating like a hog up in this piece. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how stocked these two stores are. We got all this to look at. We got all these guys to look at here. There's lots of animatronics on the floor behind me for sale. Let's start with Wanda Webworth. She is so creepy. I'm glad they have her set up here. If you remember in the last store, they had her on the floor in the box on clearance for half price. So I can only assume that something must have broken on her, but I'm glad that this one 
works. Hello, Wander. I have not been in a store yet, though, that has the coin mechanism set up that actually is connected to Wanda Webworth. I don't know why. This one is flashing, but he's not even moving, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. And if you're not aware, that's just like the step pad, only you're pushing a coin in, and that's supposed to be the activate mechanism to get her going, or whoever else you have set up. All right, let's say hello to Cotton Candy Dan. Hello, Mr. One-Eye. All right, let's keep on moving around. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just realized that in the last store, the Boardman store, I never went through the Fun House of Terror. I guess it's because once word got out that I was there, I totally forgot. So let's go on through here, guys. The Spirit Fun House of Terror. And we're going to look in these mirrors with that thing in mind that I just saw a candy store on the way up here. Hello, Mr. Too Much Candy. Oh, here it is. This is the one. Before candy, after candy. <laughs> oh my gosh. One of these days I want to actually get one of these holographic fans. Those are totally awesome. And I do still want to get candy. Let's look at this one real quick here. What happens if you eat candy? Well, you don't get shorter. You get fatter, but you don't get shorter. All right, through the fun house. Let's come on out this side. We got all these animatronics on the floor to look at over here in a second. But let's go ahead and give these guys their due. Mr. Bobby Strings. Hello, sir. Oh boy, you finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. I pulled some strings to get you here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and once again, we actually have both Victor and Emily. Let's go ahead and get these guys going. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I ask you to be mine. All right, Emily, what do you say about that? And since they do have their wire connected between them there, they will just keep going and going and going and going. All right, we got Barnaby over here. We got the jumping spider. It's a black and red jumping spider. Come on, sir. There you go. <laughs> Let's get Barnaby going here. Hello, Barnaby. Look at this, you can see how badly I'm sweating, guys. I'm not even kidding. I wish it were a little more chilly in here. <laughs> All right, we got one more of these guys to see over here. It's Nibbles. You didn't think I was gonna pass him by, did you? Hello, sir. Let's see what you have to offer. Well, well, well. You caught my eye. Oh, he's following me. Even though I have the camera, he is following me. Very, very cool. Come on, sir. I'm over here. I'm over here, sir. It seems like the sensor is pointed more directly at me rather than in other stores I've seen where, like, his head is kind of pointing up. So unless you stick your hand up and start moving it, then he's not really going to work right. And, of course, there's also that factor that you can't have your phone in your hand or else he doesn't work, really work right. But he worked really good right here. And look at this. I got sidetracked because I noticed Shrek over there. Look at this creepy thing. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that is like the creepiest and most awesome Shrek head I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and it actually comes with the Shrek hands. All right. Ogres are like onions. All right, I'm not going to put it off any longer. Let's come on over here and see who all they have for sale on the floor. We have a towering Tallulah right on the end, guys. We have the light up in sound making ghost face. We have Max Straw right there. Oh, Mackie. 
We got Michael Myers, second store I've seen Michael Myers in. We have Emily the Corpse Bride down here on the bottom. I don't see Victor, though. I do see the Night Terror, though. We have a couple of scary sitting scarecrows, and we have two demonic gatekeepers right on the end. Of course, like always, we have a whole bunch of jumping spiders here, and look at this over here. We have the Beetlejuice groundbreaking sandworm and the Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worm right on top of each other. I was talking in the other store about how I mistook the Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worm for the Beetlejuice groundbreaking sandworm, but you can clearly see they are different. And we have got a whole pile of animatronics right beside them. We've got the gravestone ghoul. Look at the look on that guy's face. We got the light up ghost face down here. We have two sitting scarecrows, two more sitting scarecrows on the bottom, two ghastly ghost girls on swings. We got a whole plethora of sinister spirit dolls here. And on the other side, of course, we have two Bubba's man's possessed friend. Look at this over here, guys. We also have two of the new ghost facers. Ghost facers. What the heck, man? My head is so messed up in here because there's so much stuff I'm excited about. Two Ghostbusters life-size replica proton packs. Look how cool that is. As you guys know, I bought two of the Ghostbusters life-size terror dogs this season as soon as they were released. And it only seems fitting that I would get the replica proton pack and a costume one day. Whoa, what in the world is this thing on the bottom here? It looks like some kind of a cocoon. It's very soft and squishy. How sick. It's a spider egg sack. That is pretty disgusting. Okay, I do see a spider right there. What's up with those disgusting bubbles? I just want to I'm going to dream I'm going to have a nightmare about this thing tonight. Only I'm going to be inside the spider sack. You can go back to your home right there. Hello crow, hello rat, hello this guy. And hello killer squirrels. Look at this back here we have Scabs and Carrot, best friends forever, right on the top. We have four of the secret keeping cats. Let's go ahead and leave them some stickers here because we know they won't tell anybody else where any of the other stickers are. We have another Scabs and the Creeping Cat. And look at this, we have a Ham Hock. I think it's the first store this season I've seen the Ham Hock. One Ham Hock for sale. Hook Head Hog, Hook Eye Guy, and what is this guy? Whoa, look at the hair. Blue hair. Look at the face on that guy. That is pretty cool. He's got a tissue in one ear and out the other. Oh, here's those activation switches I was talking about. $34.99. And yeah, it basically looks like you're entering a coin. You're inserting a coin. And when you push the coin, it activates the animatronic. All right, we got a good plethora of masks over here on the end piece. On the bottom, we have... I think that's the 2018 Halloween mask. We got Frankenstein's monster there. We have, is this the same one? Yeah, that's the same Halloween. We got Nightmare on Elm Street 4. I actually have that at home. Halloween Rob Zombie. I honestly do not like this mask at all. And then we, of course, we have the Terrifier and the Bloody Terrifier. I am going to be doing some camping soon, guys, and I was actually looking for a real knife online like this, a trench knife that looks like it has the brass knuckles attached, but I think they're illegal because I can't find one anywhere. No, thank you. You can go back to heck. I see some zombie baby friends over here. Are there any that I have not seen? Seen yet? I saw this peekaboo guy in the last store in Boardman, and this one I believe I saw in St. Clairsville. This is only the second store I have seen her in. She is pretty cool looking. I love the barbed wire, hence her name, Barbara Wire. Look, it looks like this guy is trying to push the wall. He's like, guys, help! And she's like, I just want to eat my bugs. All right, let's take a quick look over here, guys, before we go. I just want to see if there's anything else that I haven't seen anywhere. Of course, there always is going to be things like this, because I don't spend a lot of time looking at things like this. Fortunes told here. That's what I'm talking about. That guy looks pretty creepy. And I'm kind of anxious to see how quickly Glenn sells out this year because everybody was buying them off the shelves last year fast. Oh, I haven't seen the Gizmo Sidestepper. 
<laughs> you gotta love Gizmo. If you guys watch my fan mail videos, you know that Spook365 just sent me this guy. Thank you very much. Look at this, we have both the atomic ray gun and the popcorn gun from Killer Clowns. From regions beyond, what do you see with your one eye? Okay guys, I've been around this store several times. I think I have seen everything there is to see in here today. Wait, what is this? $3.99 mini Spirit Halloween canvas tote bag. It'd be cool if they had Jack the Reaper on there, but that is still pretty cool. I don't know what you carry in that, like craft supplies.